Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit to our members, the event is 100% exclusively entirely free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending for this event, DM tbradley90 in MIC chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys as Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader, one of our head moderators in MIC chat, does a weekly Sunday video on the fundamental analysis side of trading. And today he's going to do a deep dive into RWLK. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Everybody, what's going on? Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video. I hope you guys are having a nice weekend here. Um, just want to recover, uh, recover, uh, recap one of the uh, names that moved this week for RWLK. Had some news come out on, um, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday after hours that sent the stock up a couple hundred percent. Um, you know, with it, uh, its move, started to do some digging on it and uh, found some stuff that was interesting. I thought I'd share real quick. Um, <clears throat> so I'll dig right into it. So, of course, guys, not investment advice on my behalf or MIC, um, you know, do your own due diligence on these names. Um, with that being said, so RWLK, so the timeline of this is pretty um, important as far as the day it moved and the next morning. And what I mean by that, so after that news was announced, you know, before it was holding up in pre-market the next day, I was kind of going through doing some of these. So on 4-1, April 1st, they had $8.8 .8 million. Um, they had done an offering after that for 3.8. And then if you guys recall right before the open the next day, they announced that they exercised some outstanding warrants and received $10 million. So obviously the day it moved in after hours, I didn't know at the time and nor did nobody that these were going to be exercised. So they were well in the money. Um, but I was very surprised to see them exercise in pre-market. What is this? Uh, 10 months, not much volume. I mean, even, you know, this day there was a little bit, um, but they actually, it, they suspended it and I'll get on to that here in a second. But that's why a lot of times when some company has an ATM outstanding that's old, I give it very little weight, um, especially when it's suspended, but um, get back to this. <sighs> what do I want to go with this one next? So going back to their page, they announced they're the nicest company. And I say that because they not only told us that, hey, we exercise, exercise warrants, but they announced this one for 25 reverse split. Um, so the date on these, uh, this right here was 4-1. So I just automatically assumed, as you guys know, a lot of times it's not coincidental that companies will do this, you know, a day or two after their 10 Qs filed. Makes it a little bit harder to, uh, you know, adjust with the reverse splits. But uh, when you come here and look at it, they actually voted on this on the... Uh, March 27th, which was a couple of days before that 10Q, right? So um, all the information in the 10Q is as of 3.31. So the reason I bring this up is not most companies will do this, but if you go back to the most recent two filings, it's Q1 and the 10K. So if you look at the 10K warrants from November 8th, uh, 2018, rather, there was 44 million warrants with an exercise price of 0.3. Um, again, so it's deceiving because you come to the most recent 10Q, um, and it says as of March 31st. So I'm thinking, well, hey, this was filed on the first, so it probably doesn't account for it, but luckily I was able to. Obviously, um, you divide this by 25, this 44 million, and uh, you take this times 25, and these are your numbers that they get. So these are accounted for the reverse split. Now, obviously, anything that was offered after um the first so this one probably wasn't yes yeah, so the warrants on this one um what if our do not need adjusted right because this was announced after 